Hello, 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 friends. Thank you for joining us for today's vegan cooking class. Today, I am bringing you some vegan carrot cake cupcakes with a coconut cream frosting. These recipes come from the Conscious Plant Kitchen. Go ahead and preheat your oven to 350 degrees, and then let's get started. In my bowl, I have one cup of unsweet almond milk. To that, I'm going to add one teaspoon of fresh lemon juice. Go ahead and whisk that together. And then set it aside for a few minutes. That lemon juice will allow the milk to curdle a little bit and it acts as our buttermilk. Next, I'm gonna take one and a half cup of all-purpose flour that I already have in my bowl here. And I'm gonna mix it with half a teaspoon of baking soda half a teaspoon of bacon powder, half a teaspoon of sea salt, one teaspoon of cinnamon, and one fourth teaspoon of nutmeg. Start with my bacon powder. one half teaspoon and then my baking soda. I usually buy this in a large container and then just pour it into my smaller container. And then I'm gonna do half a teaspoon of sea salt And then one teaspoon of ground cinnamon. And get that in there. One fourth teaspoon of ground nutmeg. And I'm sorry, the recipe also says to go ahead and add in brown sugar. Um, And so I have half a cup of brown sugar. I'll go ahead and add that in as well. And then also it calls for half a cup of unrefined cane sugar. So this is not your white sugar. This is sugar that has not been processed to make it white. It may look white here on the camera, but it's really a lighter brown color because it has not been processed to give it that white, white color. So look for unrefined cane sugar um, when you go to the store. So half a cup of that as well. And I'm gonna go ahead and whisk all of that together. Okay, I have all of my dry ingredients well combined. I'm gonna go ahead and make a well in the center here. And that just means push all of the dry ingredients to the side of the bowl and make a little hole in the center. 
And in that well, I'm gonna add some vegetable oil, vanilla extract, and the almond mixture that we made at the beginning. So the oil, it calls for half a cup, and I'm just using vegetable oil. And then the vanilla extract, two teaspoons, and I'm just using this Watkins Clear imitation vanilla. Put two teaspoons of that in. Also going to add the almond milk mixture that we did at the beginning of the video. And then we're just going to go ahead and combine all of this until we get a smooth batter. Okay, my batter is nice and smooth. Now I'm gonna add one and a half cups of grated carrots. And I'm also adding half a cup of chopped walnuts. Go ahead and fold those into the batter. Scraping down the sides as you go. And this recipe makes 12 muffin cups. So I have 12 here that I already have lined in my muffin tin. Go ahead and distribute that evenly into the 12 muffin holes, okay? And make sure that you don't fill it all the way up to the top. You must give the muffins room to rise or cupcakes, whatever we're calling them here. Muffins, cupcakes, whatever. Just leave a little bit of room at the top so they can rise and not spill over. Now I'm gonna pop these in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes until they are golden brown. Also, you can test with a toothpick in the center, insert it if it comes out clean with very little crumbs and you know it's done, okay? While the cupcakes are baking, I'm gonna go ahead and make the coconut cream frosting. So I have some coconut cream here, unsweetened. And the recipe says that you want to put this whole can in the refrigerator overnight, okay? So I've had mine in the, in the refrigerator overnight. It also says it's a good idea to put your bowl and your whisk that you're going to be using in the freezer. Because you want everything to be really cold when you whip this coconut cream frosting so that it stays together. It doesn't melt in a hot bowl. So the recipe says that you're gonna scrape all of the top fat part off. Don't shake it up. Um, don't get any of the liquid that is sitting up under the coconut cream that has risen to the top. So let me try to get all of this out without 
getting any of the liquid that sits at the bottom. Once I've gotten all that out, you see that liquid that's at the bottom? You don't want to put any of that into your bowl. Just get the hardened part, the fatty, the good old fatty part. <laughs> Next, I'm going to add half of a cup of powdered sugar. And then I'm adding in one teaspoon of vanilla extract. at high speed until it becomes light and fluffy, <laughs> light and fluffy, like whipped cream. It gets very noisy, so I'm going to turn the camera off and then come back and show you what it looks like when I'm done. All right, this is what we're looking for, something that is very light and fluffy, um, like whipped cream. The recipe does say if you don't like the consistency of it, if it's not as thick as you want it, then you can add two to three tablespoons of cornstarch. So I'm gonna taste this a bit and see. Mmm. Oh my God. <laughs> Excuse me, Lord, I took your name in vain. Oh my goodness. This is delicious. It is very delicious, but I do think I am gonna go ahead and add that two to three tablespoons of uh, cornstarch. I normally use Argo, but I went to two stores. They didn't have Argo, so I ended up getting this Rumford cornstarch. I hope it is okay. I don't know. But I'm going to add two tablespoons of this and then whip it up a little bit more. I'm going to cover this in plastic wrap. My cupcakes are just about done. They do have to cool a little bit before I put this frosting on. It is very much like whipped cream. Um, they do have a link to their uh, buttercream icing if you want a more stable icing that is able to pipe, you know, like when you pipe and decorate cakes. But this, you just kind of dollop on the top. So I will be back to show you that. All right, friends, my cupcakes are done. My house smells super delicious and the cupcakes look so yummy. I'm about to put a little bit of this icing on one and then I'm gonna cut into it so we can see what it's looking like. Kinda stuck to the paper. That's not fair. Get it off in one piece. And this icing, it is super delicious, but it's definitely not an icing that you can pipe. Like you literally just have to dollop it on there. 
I think when I make it the next time, I'm going to put um, maybe two or three more tablespoons of cornstarch. But the taste is on point. All right, let's see. I'm gonna cut this cupcake open here. Let you see what it's looking like on the inside. Yummy, yummy, yummy. All right. Mm -mm. Oh my goodness, that is delicious. It's moist. The coconut cream icing is on point. That flavor, y'all. Oh my God. Did it again. Oh my goodness. Mm. That's delicious. Mm. Look at that thing. Vegan carrot cake cupcakes. I do hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. Bon appetit.